guys, we're going to open the floor for some questions. We'll give the mic over to Stevie. Yes. Yes, hi, Daily News. Thank you. Well, I was <clears throat> rather surprised <laughs> you brought that up. It was a very personal uh, conversation. Um, we were just discussing. Uh, I really can't talk about this. It's really too personal. But but basically, I this was. Um, making the case that we, uh, you know, Bruce Springsteen and East Street Band were, were one, were always one entity, and, and, uh, and uh, you know, we kind of created this thing, I think Bruce, Bruce talked about it tonight, this, this sort of hybrid between, somewhere between a solo act and a band. And, um, you know, and I was just making that point that, uh, you know, the guys in the band were, uh, at that point, you know, we were having many conversations about the reunion and, 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 and all that. And um, Bruce had tried some different things with different people and uh, as he absolutely has a right to do. And, and um, you know, who can blame him for trying different things with different people. Uh, but at that point, my conversation was, from now on, anything you want to do, Anything you can think of, we can do with East Street Band, you know? Um, we're very, very versatile, very uh, dedicated to realizing his vision, and no matter what that vision is, we can do it. You know? So that was the beginning of this sort of new, new sort of evolution you know, of the band. Hey, right here. Right here. Mike Espinosa from New Jersey, big fan of, uh, big fan of Sopranos, love the show. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, I want to congratulate all you guys. You guys are an unbelievable band. Uh, what advice can you give to the younger generation of music uh, out there that's out there right now? To get to the place that you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> practice, advice, advice, advice. Well, practice, 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 of course. But obviously, um, you know, obviously, whatever you're doing, be authentic and be passionate about it first. And then if something good comes your way, whatever, commercially, business, whatever, that's fine. But it, I kind of picked that up uh, at a young age from Neil Young and David Briggs, really, at 17. They were great mentors and kind of wrote the book for me on that. So that's about, that's the bottom line. You just stay engaged in exploring your own gifts and stay passionate and authentic about it and honest, then whatever comes or doesn't come, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Gary, you uh, picked the set list. Yeah. Well, did you, did you, I just had to. <laughs> we never picked the set list. I feel it's free to pick the set list. Oh Lord, well, we'd want to say everything that we've sort of said, you know, how much we love him and, and, and all of that. And Clarence would have a lot to say about tonight, actually. He'd be having a real good time and on his way to having even a better time when we, all this would be done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and we, we do miss him and he's, you know, he's, he's with us in spirit. Hey, Steven, Sal from Premier Radio, how are you? Hi, Sal. How you been? Uh, congratulations. Without taking Bruce out of the picture, can you define the East Street Band? What for you defines them? We, we, you know, from the very beginning, we, we decided not to define ourselves away from Bruce, you know, which we were, we turned down lots of money, <laughs> lots of deals uh, to do our own thing, and we decided very early on that was not what we were going to do, you know, we were one thing, you know, Bruce bringing in his band. Um, so, you know, uh, we, we just, uh, we just felt that that was the way, that, that was what felt right. Bruce handpicked the band himself, one guy at a time, you know? And it was his band, and we, we, we existed for him and uh, to realize his vision, as I, as I said. And, and, uh, and we have, and, and he picked guys who could handle a, a wide variety of things and, and, and could basically 
follow orders, <laughs> okay? And you know, and we're and we're, we had a really fa uh, fast ability, you know, to learn. You know, we we um, every one of us, you know, there's a lot of spontaneity going on in this show. A lot. I mean, a lot of spontaneity tonight. <laughs> Usually unintended, but, but you know, we we got to move like one thing, you know, one, one entity, you know, no matter what, what move he makes, you know, he's a very, very um, creative guy, he never stops being creative, you know, he never does a song the same way twice, you know, so we, our job is just to kind of follow where he goes and, uh, and, and you know, just keep it coherent, you know, you know, basically, you know, I don't know how what else to say, how else to say, <laughs> yeah, right, right, we're here to make him look good, basically, good, good point, Carrie. <laughs> One more, guys. Hey, Matt. Um, uh, well, first off, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and uh, Mr. Colbert was just announced that he would be joining your the Daily Show, uh, the Late Show family. Do you, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for him? Yes, I read that earlier this afternoon that Stephen Colbert is going to be uh, taking the helm of David Letterman's show when David uh, leaves next year. I think it's a great choice. Incredibly talented guy. It's a challenging landscape, having been there for 17 years myself. And I wish him all the luck. I think it's going to be great. It's an end of an era. Thank you so much. Get a lot of sleep. You're going to need it. Pleasure. Good night.